I woke up piloting the strongest starship, so I became a space mercenary. Written by Ryuto. 365 ha. Na. Si. Let. Go. Of me. Hirosama. Captain Serena asked you to come over to the Restalius. Huh? What for? After arriving at the Reach system and forming up in the orbit of the target planet, Reach 3, Mimi reported something strange, and I couldn't help but retort in a dubious tone. Cause calling me up and wanting to meet me face to face at this time is really suspicious, you know? It looks like she wants you to accompany her in power armor proficiency training. She said she hadn't had the opportunity to practice operating her new power armor ever since she received it. I see. Is that woman planning on descending to the surface personally again? She's an imperial noble after all. But isn't it bad for the commanding officer to rush to the front lines? It's due to tradition. After saying so, Elma shrugged her shoulders. I can make sense of the logic behind saying that the commander wouldn't be able to avoid being shot at anyway even if they stayed in the back in an outer space fleet battle, but a commander personally going to the front lines during a melee was dangerous and inefficient no matter how you slice it. Well, I can't really criticize it that much since it's tradition. Okay then. I'll bring my power armor and come over. You should come with me as well, Elma. Though it's unlikely, it's still too early for Mimi and Kugi to handle Krishna if I somehow mess up and get injured later. Can't be helped. Well, Antlion can't be used for close air support here anyway. The Antlion's main weapon was a high-output laser beam emitter, and its sub-weapons were seeker missile pods, so it really wasn't suited for the role of close air support here in the Reach system. That's because thermo-optical weapons didn't work well against those spheres. Krishna's shot cannons were most likely a lot more effective. But since the thermo-optical weapons equipped on starships have much higher outputs compared to those used by infantry and power armor troops, wasn't it possible that they'd actually work better on the spheres? Still, the shot cannons were probably a safer bet. And so, I partnered with Mimi and Elma partnered with Kugi as we launched out and headed to the Restalius with almost all members together to meet up with Captain. Serena. However, would you mind coming down to the planet's surface with me? Captain Serena smiled sweetly and acted in a coquettish manner. I smiled back at her. I'm out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Don't just suddenly decide to leave like that. When I turned on my heel, Captain Serena grabbed my clothes and held on to me with all her might. I, let go woman. Don't use your enhanced physical strength to do stuff like this. You're freaking strong. Of course, I won't agree. You guys are definitely gonna get into a damn scuffle against the leader of those killer metallic spiders. I still remember how miserable it was when you dragged me to that planet that was in the middle of being terraformed last time. But you were really reliable back then. Other nobles are also going to accompany me this time around. However, you're the only one I feel I can entrust my back to. And besides, only the two of us have custom-made power armors. I will never do it. Let go of me. I was planning on watching from above inside Krishna. You really think I'd agree to do something like leaping headfirst into that death trap? Reward. I'll pay you a handsome reward. I'll make sure to provide you with ample compensation as the commander of this fleet. How much are we talking about? Um, about 50,000 enels or so. My life isn't that cheap, damn it. At least give me ten times that amount. Aren't you being too greedy? You're already receiving pay fit for a platinum rank mercenary. Starship combat and providing close air support are included in the scope of the contract but descending to a planet wearing power armor and having a deadly battle with those freaky killer spiders using swords isn't. isn't. I dare you to read the contract a million times and then tell me I'm wrong. Elma sighed and got between me and Captain Serena. Yes, yes, stop it, you two. Quit yelling at each other like brats. We're all grown adults here. Gunu. TSK. It's true that I got a bit emotional. Uh, more than a bit, I guess. Of course, I would. 
I tried to justify myself, but Elma held me back. I get why you're so dissatisfied, hero. You don't like fighting in the flesh in the first place. And it's a high-risk mission outside of the contract we agreed on. I folded my arms and heavily nodded in response to Elma, who accurately expressed my dissatisfaction. Of course, wearing power armor was a lot safer than going in unprotected, but its armor was still as thin as paper when compared to Krishna's cockpit, which was protected by a triple energy shield layer and special extra-thick military-grade armor. It was naturally still dangerous. If I let my guard down even for a moment, my limbs or head could end up saying bye-bye forever, along with my life. But you know, hero, you also hate things leaving a bad taste in your mouth, right? Are you sure you won't regret it if you completely ignore Captain Serena's request and she actually ends up dying? Well, that's... But isn't that a bit unfair? It's true that we have a good relationship with Captain... Serena. And I would certainly feel regretful if she ends up dead or missing after I turn down her request. But this and that are different. Okay? We're mercenaries, you know? Everything would be over if I died as well, right? Who would look after you guys if I end up dying as well? I have a duty to take care of you guys as the captain of our crew. That's why I would never willingly cross a dangerous bridge. It's because my life isn't solely mine anymore. I also have you guys to consider. Then you just have to insist that Captain Serena take the lead. It's not like we want you to go to the front lines personally, you know? But if they're planning on doing the same thing as last time, then there's no need to consider it. We've already identified the points to be explored and we'll use combat bots as the vanguard force, so even if I'm going down there myself, I have no plans of personally fighting in the front lines as well. Are you sure about that? You're not lying, are you? You're saying that now, but you won't take to the front lines anyway later on, right? It's true. If I break my promise, you can privately demand whatever you want of me. Captain Serena placed her hand on her chest and displayed a self-satisfied look. Did you know, Captain? That's called raising a flag. Also, I have absolutely no intention of demanding anything from you privately, so no thank you. So, in the end, I put on my power armor and descended to the surface of the planet with Captain. Serena. Well, it's true that I won't be able to sleep easy if I abandoned her now. But, somehow, I still ain't convinced, you know? You know? It feels like I was wheedled into this situation. I guess I owe Elma one. The atmosphere is composed mostly of carbon dioxide, the atmospheric pressure is extremely low, and basically, it's not an environment where humans can survive unassisted. I muttered as I looked at the data displayed on my HUD. The gravity seems to be pretty weak, and it's kind of scary to move around too much before getting used to it. And so, I proceeded to familiarize myself with the environment. Oya, you're performing a movement check even without my reminder, huh? huh? Impressive. Thanks, I guess. Captain Serena, who was wearing her white knight like power armor, called out to me, and I replied nonchalantly. Need I remind you that you were whining and clinging to me so desperately just an hour ago? Lady? It's no use trying to make yourself look cool and composed again. Your image is already in tatters. I'm definitely not going to head to the front line this time around. I know already, unless something extraordinary happens, there would be no need for us to actively participate in the operation. Stop saying stuff like that already. I'm starting to feel that we're really going to get forced to go out there. Captain. A large number of unidentified objects have come out of the target ruin-like structure. A. The captains and my gaze met through the visors of our power armors. C. 